And we're back. All right, guys, that was a, <laughs> that was a nice little break. Well, I'm excited about that second sponsor. Uh, I tell you what, yeah. I'm, I'm glad they found us. Well, I I I am somewhat of a spokesperson for them. That's for sure. <laughs> mm, couldn't tell. Couldn't tell by the whole box of stuff you sent us, Manny. <laughs> Uh, so well, we're back. Um, one of those ads is real, one of those fake. It's up to you to determine which one. So uh, let's dive into the DC universe, you guys' favorite universe. Um, I think it's kind of yes. meant for pricks, right? No. <laughs> Speaking of pricks. <laughs> I think you hear the hemorrhoid commercial I have for you. <laughs> All right. So um, we're gonna, these, the DC universe has a few things coming up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I feel like this is a, an opportunity for them. Uh, to to step to step up right because they are they made a decision they're kind of with Warner Brothers to release a lot of their content not in theaters or in theaters and on um, HBO Max so um, Alex yeah you know um, as many hawks uh, coughs up a lung back there uh, sorry I turned off my microphone on purpose no 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 I'm glad you did that's how people are supposed to use meetings and Zoom I appreciate that you see you clearly have some etiquette after using it for 12 months some people still have no idea how to use this thing. Um, Alex, take yeah. us into the DC universe. Um, what are some things that you're looking forward uh, to as um, in the, in a few upcoming months? I, I, I frankly, I don't know what I'm looking forward to in the DC. Oh universe. God, this is not going to be a good conversation, is it? I, I mean, listen, <laughs> listen. I, I love the DC universe. Um, I, it, it it was one of the first cartoons. That I loved as a child, the Justice League of America, the Hall of Justice, Legion of Doom, uh, all of the characters. You know, one of my favorite characters is actually Green Lantern. I've always loved that character. Batman's another one, probably my favorite comic book character. And 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 yet, at each turn, Warner Brothers and DC, or or, or DC has just, I don't know, man. They just don't. They can't get their shit together. Right, we 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 talked about uh, casting, how 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 critical casting is, and and in this particular iteration of some of these heroes, I think they've just done a real shit job, right? Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the Ben Affleck Batman. I, I don't give a shit what people say. I I didn't care for that, for for that casting choice. Uh, Superman. I I can't even think of the dude's name who plays that character. Uh, the last uh, Wonder Woman uh, was 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 fucking terrible. Uh, oh yeah, Gal not Gal Gadot. No, oh, not, well, not, the, not the, the Gal film the movie, not not her, yeah. not her, not her so much. But 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 even her. She's, oh yeah, eighty four was. Uh, uh, a, a you know, uh, uh, they made the Green Lantern uh, standalone film with Ryan Reynolds. I'm a huge Ryan Reynolds fan. I love the guy in in, in the stuff he does. I should I I I loved him in the fucking uh, Pikachu detective film. And and this one made him just fucking dull as fuck. Yeah, and he, and, and he openly admits it too that it was just trash. At, at every turn, DC seems to stumble. They cannot get out of their own fucking way. And so, yes, we have this extender, extender, extended cut coming up. Right, the Snyder cut they call it. Yeah, I it's believe four four days long. Right, right, exactly. Right, right. And and uh, I just you know fucking figure it out, man. I'm not saying you have to you have to go the same way of the MCU, but my God, they've given us a template, and and some of it you can follow, right? Uh, because there are some amazing characters within the DC universe. I have my thoughts on what some of the limitations are for some of those heroes and some of those characters, but um, but I know the potential is there, and and the reason I say this is because although the live action films have for the most part been shit. They've got an amazing animated film catalog. If you have HBO Max, go on there, search for Justice League. You'll get recommendations for other Justice League animated films that you didn't even know had come out. And 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 they're and they're great. They're great. Uh, DC Comics tried this thing a couple of years back. Uh, I believe they call it the 52, right? It, it was sort of the a bit of the multiverse road that they were trying to take the new uh, the new 52 right using the flash as their as their as their keystone there but that has sort of petered out right it it, right. it didn't really hold like they thought it would they they tried introducing a lot of different characters coalescing into this one storyline 
And and within that, there were some great characters, but they never developed them. They never went any further than that. And and um, so to answer your question, where is DC going? Other than the the Snyder four day long cut, I, I have no fucking idea. I guess just the Batman, right? Like that's really it. Just the the Matt Reeves Batman is where uh, that's the only thing I could think of. And the Suicide Squad, um, that what's his name is directing. Um, sure. And I and but that's even like, you know, there there's so much in between those movies, right? And I'm not a huge DC guy. I it's nothing against him. I just you know, it just never really got into him growing up. And I sure. I do like Batman. Batman's one of my favorite characters. So I just feel like um, they they never really figured out the casting of him on screen. And and it's always just been, um, oh, we're gonna have this. We're gonna have Keaton, which seemed like then we're gonna do Clooney, then we're gonna do Kilmore, then we're gonna do, you know, um. And now, like, we have like, multiple Batmans casted at the same time filming movies, or it, it just doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Like, well, well, well that's the thing. I, I think you hit something really, uh, hit on something really well is that, is that, you know, maybe it's because of the success that they've had in the MCU, but, but, you know, Robert Downey Jr. and, 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 and Chris Pratt and, and all, all, and all of the different actors who have been all involved the in the MCU, <laughs> all the Chris's, they, they, they love their affiliation with the MCU. I'm sure it's because of the money that it's brought them, but also because it really truly has been an amazing experience. I mean, fucking Clooney, Kilmer, they disavow themselves completely of the Batman films. Like, yeah. fuck, yeah, that was a fuck up. Sorry. We, you know, we, we you know, uh, even even Christian Bale, who's a notoriously pain in the ass character or or, or or actor, he's not exactly you know yeah man that Batman character I loved it and and uh, you know I, I dip my toe back into that pool anytime. Nope, he's like I'm done. Um, so you ask the question of where is it going? Yeah, you're right. There is a Suicide hmm. Squad. <laughs> yeah, there, there there are those Batman films, but where are they going to go what are they going to do with them what 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 is their end game and 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 the difference between they're standalones right now right there's 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 standalones and 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 uh you know i i i think that dc works so well when they bring their characters together uh you know to be the justice league right but but there's all these ancillary characters that could be just as good as what they've done in the MCU, but the focus is is on that core group, and 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 that can be good, and that could also be very bad. Yeah, right? I, I think I think DC needs like a, a Kevin Feige ish guy to come in there, 100%. Or, or, or girl. It could be anybody. I'm just saying, Kevin Feige guy. I mean, it could be Kevin Smith. He's probably too like I uh, I don't know. Maybe just like Hollywoody, maybe. But they need someone. But at least he's a fan. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the, what I'm the essence. What I'm saying is they need a real fan who can yeah. come in here and make fan decisions. Um, they, and, 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 and a, a smart fan, right? And not sure. just like pure fan decision because that doesn't always equate to money. And that's always why these movies are being made for money. But uh, it, it, there's got to be some camaraderie, some communication between directors, something. Some something's got because you know Marvel figured it out and yeah, they, they did. The blueprint is there. It's pretty simple to do. They have a plethora of content and characters. Available, Absolutely. So it's not like it's not like they're a struggling new company. So they just got to figure it out. Um, and maybe it's just getting rid of some old people. Maybe that's tougher, uh, you know, because there's deals behind the scenes. I don't know. But do you do you just start all over? Do you just wipe the the slate clean and say? I, that's a good question, Manny. What do you think? Do you think would you just start clean? Well, they're already talking about uh, rebooting Superman. Oh, yeah, I did see her heard that today, yeah, too. Yeah, that, that heard of that, I think, yesterday. I, I heard and, I want to do a black Superman, too. Yeah, so um, so a lot of people aren't happy about that because I feel like they think that maybe they can give uh, Henry Cavill, like, one more That's shot. That's his name, Henry Cavill, yeah. Henry Cavill, they can give more shot uh, with somebody who's not maybe Zack Snyder, right? Because <laughs> keep, keep in mind, man, up, up until now, since Man of Steel, all this has essentially been uh, – Zack Snyder here, right? So I feel like one thing that they have to do is is really allow other filmmakers to kind of come in and kind of 
kind of uh, showcase their vision of these characters and the direction they can go as long as they kind of follow like a particular template, you know, as far as uh, yes. like kind of thing, right? Um, but if that essentially says like, like the studio can say like, okay, this is the platter that we're going to give you. It's up to you to throw in the ingredients that you kind of want. And I think they can't rely too much on one person to carry the whole thing. Um, yeah. You see, I'm not, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to be upfront. I'm not a huge fan of Zack Snyder. I'm not. Um, not saying he's a terrible filmmaker, but one thing that he's shown is that he's not really one for understanding story structure. <laughs> I guess, uh, and, and, and he does he, he does way too much fan service. Um, one thing that we saw in Batman v Superman. Keep in mind, keep in mind. I, like I said, oh, I'm a huge fuck. DC guy, right? I'm a huge DC guy. Yeah. Um, and. And even in Batman v Superman, there was enough in it that I could still defend, right? As a movie as a whole, I can still defend it. And I'll be like, all right, wasn't it wasn't terrible like people thought it was kind of thing, you know? Um, but there was a lot of stuff in there that the average, the person who has like, Marvel Studios has made movies for people who, accessible to people who have never picked up a comic book in their lives. Right. right? 100%. Zack right. Snyder, however... He's made movies for people who have done nothing but read comic books their entire lives. People like me, right? So everything that he throws up on a screen, I get it. I understand it. Like, uh, but for example, the dream sequence in in Batman v Superman, right? With the Omega sign, and then you got the you know the you got you got the uh, you know you got that scene where like Superman goes bad and then he comes in and then just punches Bruce Wayne and just rips his heart out. Um, I remember people when that scene happened, people in the theater were just kind of like, "The fuck was that?" You know, like, <laughs> oh, and, I, and I'm just like, "Oh, flashpoint, flashpoint! Oh, the Omega! Okay, Flashpoint Paradox! All right, cool, right? Yeah, you know, I, yeah, right. You know, so like I had to like lean in and like I explained it to my wife, and she's like, "Oh, okay." And then, like, that was it. And then, like, nothing ever fucking happened at, from that. Like, nothing again. Nothing ever was explained. Not, the rest not of the some, come on, give not me some nothing. voiceover. Yeah. And I'm sure Alex didn't mind when Bruce Wayne got his heart ripped out. He's like, hmm. Yeah, but you know what I mean? It's just like, nothing else happened with it. That was that fucking it. And then, and then, and then we had what happened in Justice League. And it's just kind of like, wait, what the fuck, you know? Um, so I think that's what the problem is with a lot of, a lot of like, you know, the, the direction that Zack Snyder has gone through. However, I'm going to, reserve my judgment on justice league snyder cut right just to see what how what they can pull through maybe they said okay you know what this is our chance to really maybe set things right but this right. isn't the fucking godfather you don't make a fucking four-hour cut i mean i mean well i mean why not why can't you do part one part two and release well, it the, like thing, in the thing is originally justice league was supposed to be released in part one and part two well, what it was a, supposed to be two movies right but Things happened. Things went left field. Josh right. Reading came over, took over, right. Right, and right, essentially, right. essentially, what we saw on screen on the Whedon cut was about only about thirty minutes, thirty to forty minutes of what Zack Snyder actually put up there. Right. So what they're doing with the four-hour <laughs> cut is they're essentially saying, okay, we're going back to the two movies that we were originally going to release. They're going to toss out everything that Josh Reading touched, and they're going to bring back everything that you know that snyder had done and additionally they had recorded you know a friend of mine lolo from lolo's films right, uh, right. great great uh, husband and wife uh, movie reviewing team shout they out to call, them they call it the mulligan cut <laughs> cut for more money Zack snyder's getting a mulligan right so they must I, play golf I, but I, this <laughs> one thing i don't want to see one thing that does annoy me about this snyder cut is that where does this fucking stop you know just because talk about a multiverse, bro. You know, no, yeah, just, no. Just because they release a movie and it fucking sucks, <laughs> and fucking, <laughs> fucking fans go out and cry on the internet for two fucking years, then the studio says, "Okay, I guess we'll redo the movie." You know, like the same fucking movie, but they'll add and take away and whatever the case may, and then re-release it. Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, where does it? That's a point. In, instead of just saying, "Okay, right, great," we'll just take the fucking loss, and then plan for a better future right you know, just kind of keep okay maybe let's learn from our mistakes in these movies and then really try to make a fucking effort 
it's maybe, better. Maybe focus yeah. on some other different, you know, different characters yes. and build up we, the, the we, DC universe organically. We, Brandon, as much as as much as I've seen enough, bat, as much as I would yes. love to see Batman on screen, he's my favorite comic book character. Enough. I get you know. It's time to see explore other characters in DC Comics. Yes, it's time. There are so many wonderful characters. Even in the Batman world, we can open yeah. that universe. We oh, can yeah. we can make you know the show Gotham. It worked because it focused a lot more on Jim Gordon, right? It focused yeah. a lot more on the villains. It you know that worked. Um, there, there's just just so, so much more to explore. Can you imagine a Legion of Doom film? Uh, right. I, I mean. Of, a Legion of Dune film. Give, give us an old. Give me an old Joker film with Mark Hamill as Joker. Yeah. Well. Well. D- 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 proving your point. The fucking Joker. I, I would say the Joker is the best film of of that entire universe. And it and, was. And it had it, nothing to do and, and with superheroes. Do. No. It had nothing to do. No. It was just. It was a dark, twisted fantasy. The thing, the thing yes. About, the thing about DC Comics that differs from Marvel is that DC tends to be a little bit more. The themes that they deal with, yeah, be a little more adult. They're, they're definitely about darker. Characters who are generally fucked up in the head. Very twisted. Well, yeah. Batman, it, it, a, that guy is fucked up in the head. Um, so that said, I believe follow the Joker route and release a series based on standalones on maybe the villains. Yeah. That would be that would be oh that, yeah that would that would be great because if I have to see Batman's parents pearls fly <laughs> down that fucking alley one more time I mean like come on give me Bruce that's yep. traumatic for us yeah fans it's at this point. I'm sorry like, Bruce but fuck enough man I, they're, they're dead and, they're and dead look, and one thing that Marvel has done really really well yeah. is, is they have introduced characters like I think you mentioned it in the last segment when Black Panther came in um and and the Spider Man Black they Panther just, they just came in. They just came yeah. in like, hey, you yeah. know these guys. Yeah. They're in. And I, yeah. I think DC should do that for some characters. And like they have to yeah. they have to build the story correctly. But yep. I think it's like you should know, like, hey, this is um, you know, Green Lantern. You know who he is. He's here now. Boom. And then he's on, then he's in the ensemble movie. And then you build a backstory once you right. establish like a little bit of love for the character. I think that's a route they could take. To, to Manny's point, it, it it's it's you know it, it it's 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 fan service because of the origin stories. I loved origin stories as a kid. I love those those cartoons because it was cool. But I've seen it enough times, so yeah. build past that. The other thing about DC, I was thinking about this earlier, and and you're right, they are more adult themes. They are darker, but th- at the same time, the characters are very cut and dry. There's n- not very there's not a whole lot of. Uh, you know, gray area with a Wonder Woman, with a with a Batman. They're either right or wrong. They're either good or bad, and that's it. In the MC in MC world, you know, you've got these characters that man, they could go, you know, a bunch of different ways, right? They can go in unexpected ways. You and have half the internet th- voting for Thanos, like, yeah, man, right. Thanos did nothing wrong. There's a whole right. red thread, whole red right. thread. You know, right? There, there's a lot. There's COVID. a lot of characters during COVID. I was like, with all these fucking anti maskers, I'm like. Where the hell is Thanos when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> right, snaps his fools away. But, yeah. but I mean, you, you, Ant-Man, you said earlier, Ant-Man is one of your favorite characters in the MCU. I mean, he, he's a thief, right? And then and then yeah. he gets convinced, it, right? But but the, there's ambiguity in terms of who they are. And, 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 and that's and it's about that DC casting too, right? And yes. because of Paul Rudd, that really helped. Like, and yes. there's there's so many actors and you know and actresses, or I guess they're actors now, right? We dropped that term. Right. I don't want to get, get canceled in our second episode of the no, season, please. Um, I, I guess that would mean people actually listen to the show, so maybe that would be nice. Um, but yeah, like it's all about casting, and you know, it's, I'm, 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 I hope that they can do right because I'm excited about the Robert Pattinson casting. I, I am. I, I really like him as an actor. Yeah. I feel like it's it's a different take on Batman. Um, and I feel like that's they, they maybe they learn from the Joker route. They're like, hmm, maybe these different takes can work. Maybe it doesn't have to be Batman in the middle of his life, you know, like always like depressed. Yeah. He can't find a chick and Alfred's going to die. And, you know, like, let's go younger. Like, let's, let's, you know, there's, there's even within the characters, there's different points in these guys' lives. If they want to harp on the same characters, there's different Superman stories. They can be right. made. There, how about this? Make a new story. They're, these yeah. are fake characters. We can just write a new story. <laughs> you know, it's not that we're, we're not looking. We're not reading encyclopedias here. These are, you know, like as Ben Affleck famously said in Jane on the Bob, fictional characters. Fictional characters. 
<laughs> I agree. I you agree. Um, yeah. But I, I think, um, I think, I think that's good for the DC universe. Uh, you guys have anything you want to add uh, before we go into show recommendations? I, uh, any more I, 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 that, I think that's fair. Okay. The last thing I'll say, <laughs> man, he's a, a forever fan, dude. He can't get away. I am kind of excited to see what they're going to do with Supergirl mm -hmm. with the casting. What do you think of the new casting of Supergirl? Who's, who is it? Who is it? It is an actress by the name of shit, uh, Caillou. It's a Spanish actress. Oh, uh, Spanish actress. Um, and uh, the director, you see, she's going to appear in the new Flash movie. Um, and at the new Flash movie is actually directed by Andy Muschietti, Muschietti or something. But he's the guy who did uh, uh, the new versions of It. Oh, okay. So, so he's like he creepy. So he understands. You know, he knows how to make a movie, all right? And he knows how to take it a, a pre-existing property and then just kind of, you know. That, that's, you know I, I think that's an underestimated thing to do, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, he cast a Supergirl. So obviously, you know, for over, uh, you know, decades after decades and decades, uh, we've only known Supergirl to be a basically a blonde white girl, right? Mm -hmm. However, Larson. <laughs> yeah, the new, the new cast now, uh, she is not that. And you know, as pre as as predicted, uh, Twitter, film Twitter, oh, and the boy. fandom oh, is in an uproar because she's not blonde, right? And, and so, white got good. She's not white. Yeah. So I mean, there are no Mexicans on Krypton. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. These people I, are so creepy and so I, stupid. I, I, I would go with it because you know. It's technically she's uh, Kal El's cousin, right? Right. Kal El and them, they're you know he's like a dark hair, and he's not white, white, right? He has you know he's a brunette, and so that said, I think you know cast somebody who kind of looks a little bit more like him. Yeah, yeah. I I've like, never been a Supergirl fan. Not even the movie. The movie? Oh, the one with uh. With uh, oh. I, was it Faye Dunaway as like the the villain? Or what? Would, yeah, 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 yeah. What was the actress's name? And then uh, Peter Peter O'Toole was in it. I mean, like, why? Are we... I don't remember her oh, name. She, but... okay. She's not, act, but in Supergirl, she's not actually going to be like Latino, right? She's no. going to be no. like just well, no, a she can't a brown alien. So yeah. who cares? Like, yeah, yeah, of course. Why are, why are people freaking out yeah. about this? It's so ridiculous. Like, I don't yeah. understand. That. Right. So, so yeah, it's kind of like you know so when Supergirl got she got tan and dyed her hair. Remember when? Remember when they cast Gal Gadot as a uh, as Wonder Woman? Oh, oh a lot, my God! A lot of a lot of fucking freaks were freaked out, saying that like it needs to be an American because Wonder Woman is American. No, she's not. You fucking asshole. You know, <laughs> you know, like she's a she's from Themyscira. All right. Now, are they making a Supergirl standalone film? No, she's gonna appear in yeah. uh, the Flash. Got it. Right. And then depending on that, they'll figure out whether yeah, they want to make a film. A gotcha. Probably, okay. Probably. Okay. Now, okay. If they can bring in Supergirl and kind of like kind of blend her in to like in the into like a Harley Quinn movie, that would be pretty cool. Helen Slater. That's yep. who played yeah. Supergirl in the 1984 Warner Brothers show. And have you watched the Supergirl movie? No, I haven't. You have to watch the Supergirl movie. <laughs> it is yeah. Okay. But <laughs> oh okay that's, that's fair i mean I... It's, it's like right up there with team witch okay mm. <laughs> okay okay that's fair um you know i i do think that one thing um dc needs to do is they need to stop allowing like zach snyder these... make movies that could be a help um <laughs> i'm gonna but... get all the snyder fans trying to listen snyder. To release the snyder cut bro you'll see you, you, you'll you, see you, yeah you just said you're excited for to see this cut from I, Zack Snyder who sucks at storytelling. It's DC, man. Fuck, I'm gonna fucking... Cry. That's a problem. That's a fucking... We'll watch anything. At some point, we just gotta say enough. I'm not gonna watch this shit I mean, anymore. End, Endgame was a little uh, um, if fanny, but they did such a great job before. It, 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 it allowed it. But, and they had to, because that was yeah, it. They yeah. were gonna bring it all together and say, yeah, I mean, okay... We're going to give you all of that shit that you guys want. We still have so many unanswered questions uh, about that yes. as well. But, you know, I forgot what he was going to say. Um, but, you know, it, it's 
that's a that's a long that's a long movie four and a half hours is a good deal or i know it's like four hours like two minutes or whatever so um i'll probably watch that in like two weeks <laughs> it's gonna take me like two weeks to watch that thing there's no way i could sit down for four hours you know um, how long it takes you to watch a 20 minute wandavision episode <laughs> Yeah, it takes me it takes you twenty <laughs> minutes, but I watch it when um, after my kid goes to sleep. Um, as, even though I would like to watch it at midnight, um, my wife and I watch it together. You know, <laughs> you know how that is. Um, and my wife goes to sleep early too. But 